Welcome to IT Vision Enterprises Solution to Pass Question in VECE Mathematics Section A Objectives Year 1997 Questions 1 to 20 I am Lawrence Danso Amwakon alias Kapiri Impuls I am going to be your facilitator August 1997 mathematics session a objective test duration one hour question one convert three two zero three base five to a base ten yeah. that is three two zero since it is base five we shall multiply this by five to the power zero five to the power one 5 to the power 2 and add them. This equals to 3 times 5 squared is 25 plus 2 times 5 is 10 and then 0. And this equals to 75 plus 10 which equals to 85. So the answer is C. Question 2. Set P equals 2, 4, 6, and 8. And set Q equals even counting numbers less than 12. What is the relationship between P and Q? Set P equals 2, 4, 6, and 8. And set Q equals even counting numbers less than 12. That is. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. 2, 4, 6, 8 in P can be found in Q. 2, 4, 6, 8. So P is a subset of Q. So the answer is B. Question 3. In the diagram below, P is a set of numbers in the circle and Q is a set of numbers in the triangle. What is P intersection Q? P intersection Q equals 5 and 6 because the elements 5 and 6 are common to both P and Q. So the answer is B. Question 4. The product of 6,287 and 543 equals 3,413,841. What is the value of 628.7 times 5.43? You have been given 6,287 times 5,43 to be equal to 3,413. 841. To obtain this figure from this, we shall divide this by 10. And to obtain this figure from this, we shall divide by 100. Since we've divided the left hand side by 10 and 100, we shall divide the right hand side by 10 and 100. And this equals to 341. 3841 divided by 1000. So this one here equals 628.7 times 5.43. So the answer here equals 34. One three point eight four one. That is resheated. That is not point three points to the left from here. So the answer is D. Question five. Express thirty centimeters as a percentage of two meters. Hundred centimeters pick one meter. Therefore, two meters equals 200 centimeters 
30 centimeters as a percentage of 2 meters is going to be equal to 30 centimeters divided by 200 centimeters times 100 percent centimeters will cancel out zeros will cancel out so 30 over 2 percent which equals to 15 percent so the answer is the question 6 what solid can be made from this net the answer is e a triangular pyramid this is illustrated in the diagram question 7 simplify 3 times into brackets 6b minus 9e plus 7 times into brackets 6a minus 5b that is 3 times into brackets 6b minus 9e plus 7 times into brackets 6a minus 5b this equals to 18b minus 27a plus 42a minus 35b we shall group like items so 42a minus 27a plus 18b minus 35b this equals 15a and this equals minus 17b so the answer is D. Question 8. Arrange the following fractions in descending order 9 over 16, 5 over 8, 0 0.62. We shall convert all the fractions into decimals starting from 9 over 16, that is 16 into 9. 5 times 16, 80, 10, 0, 6 times 16, 96, 4, 0, and then 2, 32. So this equals 0 0.562. Now 5 over 8, that's 8 into 5. 48 20 goes into it 2 16 4 5 so the answer is 0 0.625 then finally we've got 0 0.62 descending order means the bigger number will come first so the biggest among the decimals is 1 followed by 2 followed by 3 that is 5 over 8 followed by 0 0.62 followed by 9 over 16 so the answer is D question 9 find the LCM of 18 42 and 90. We shall first find the prime factors of 18, then 42, then 90. Starting with 18, 2 goes here 9, 3 goes here 3, 3 goes here 1. So 18 equals 2 times 3 squared. Now for 42, 2 goes here 21. 3 goes here, 7, 7 goes here, 1. So 42 equals 2 times 3 times 7. Then for 90, 2 goes here, 45, 3 goes here, 15, 3 goes here, 5, 5 goes here, 1. So 90 equals 2 times 3 squared times 5. Now for the LCM, we shall consider the 
individual prime factors for two, the highest power of two is two. For three, the highest power is three squared. For five is five. And then four, seven is seven. So the answer is E. Question 10. What is the ECF of 18, 42, and 90? We've already find the prime factors above. So 18 equals to 2 times 3 times 3. 42 equals to 2 times 3 times 7. And then 90 equals to 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Now, for the HCF, 2 is common, so 2. 3 is common, so 3. So the answer is 6. So D. Question 11. Simplify 4 on 5 plus minus 2 on 2 plus 1 on 6. We shall add up the S components. That's 4 minus 2. So 4 plus minus 2 plus 1. And then we shall add up the Y components. That's 5 plus 2 plus 6. So 4 minus 2 plus 1. And then 5 plus 2 plus 6. 4 minus 2 plus 1 equals to 3. And then 13. So the answer is P. In the diagram below, triangle M prime O N prime is an enlargement of triangle M O N with center O. Question 13. Find the scale factor of the enlargement. The scale factor K of the enlargement equals magnitude of O N prime divided the magnitude of O N. And since the enlargement is in opposite direction, it should be negative. So, 6 centimeters divided by 3 centimeters negative. So, minus 2. So, the answer is D. Question 14. Find the magnitude of O N. Since the scale factor is minus 2, magnitude of O M is going to be equal to half the magnitude of O M prime which is half of 9 which equals 4.5 so the answer is C question 15 find the image of the point with coordinates 6, 3 when translated by the vector minus 4 or minus 1 the image is going to be equal to 6, 3, plus, minus 4, minus 1, which equals to 6, minus 4, 3, minus 1, which equals to 2, 2, which equals to 2, 2. So the answer is D. Question 16. A student finds 17 over 35 of his pocket money on transport and food. He spent 5 over 6 for the remainder on Swiss. What fraction of his pocket money does he spend on Swiss? The student spends 17 over 35 on transport and food. So the remainder is going to be 1 minus 17 over 35 which equals 35 divided by 35 minus 17 over 35. 35 divided by 35 is the same as 1. Now the LCM, 35, 
So 35 minus 17, which equals to 18 over 35. Five six of the remainder was spent on Swiss. So 5 over 6 of the remainder, which is 18 over 35, equals to 6 goes here 1, 6 goes here 3, 5 goes here 1, 5 goes here 7. So 3 over 7. So the answer is B. In the diagram, PQ is parallel to RS and magnitude of PR equals magnitude of QR. Use the diagram to answer questions 17 to 19. Question 17. What is A? Triangle PRQ is an isosceles triangle. So the base angles are equal. So this angle here equals 46 degrees. Now the sum of angles at P equals 180 degrees. So A plus 46 should be equal to 180 degrees. And therefore A equals 180 degrees minus 46, which equals 134. So the answer is E. Question 18. Find B. The sum of angles in the triangle PQR should add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, 46 plus 46 plus B should be equal to 180. Or 92 plus B should be equal to 180. Or B equals 180 minus 92, which equals to 88. So the answer is C. Question 19. Find the value of C. The sum of the angles at Q should add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, 46 plus 29 plus C should be equal to 180. Or 75 plus C should be equal to 180. Or C should be equal to 180 minus 75, which equals 105. So the answer is E. Question 20. If P equals 7, Q equals 5, and R equals 3, find the value of P squared plus Q minus R cubed. That's P squared plus Q minus R cubed. P equals 7, so 7 squared plus Q equals 5 minus R cubed. That's R equals 3, so 3 cubed. 7 squared is 7 times 7, that's 49 plus 5 minus 3 cube is 3 times 3 times 3 that is 27 so 54 minus 27 if I get 27 so the answer is B